Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. The sarcomere is the basic functional unit of skeletal muscle. When all the sarcomeres within your muscle contract, causes the overall skeletal muscle to contract as well. It's very important to memorize these names describing the different parts of a sarcomere. And I'm going to give you some mnemonics to help you remember each one. Let's first make sure we understand the basic structure of the sarcomere. We have two different types of filaments. We have thin filaments. We also have thick filaments. Thin filaments are composed of actin. Thick filaments are composed of myosin. Okay. And this myosin, which is pictured in this dark red, it's what attaches on to the thin filament of actin and pulls on it to contract the muscle. So when a muscle contracts, all these blue lines are going to move towards each other because the red lines are going to pull on them and cause them to move towards that H zone. Okay, That's what causes the overall muscle to contract. So it's very important to keep all that in mind. Now, let's discuss the key terminology you need to know about the sarcomere. Eye band. This area only has the thin filament in it. Think about the letter I. It's a very thin letter. And like the letter A or Z or H, it's very, very thin. Now let's talk about the A band. The A band has both thin filament and thick filament. It has everything in there. It has all of the stuff in there. That's how I remember the A band. What about the M line? M line is the very, very center of the sarcomere. So I think about it as being in the middle. The Z disc, Z is at the end of the alphabet. The Z disc is what marks the end of the sarcomere. Finally, we have the H zone. H is a very thick letter compared to the letter I. Therefore, I think about it as having only the thick filament in it. I hope this gave you some really nice mnemonic devices to help you remember all this key terminology that comes in play when we think about a sarcomere. Now let's take a second look at our question stem. Which region describes a sarcomere? Remember, it's going to be between the two Z lines because the Z line marks the end of a sarcomere. So if you went from one Z line to the next, that would entail an entire sarcomere. Therefore, the correct answer here is answer choice A. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.